Hello again. Uh, welcome back. It's Pyroside Chat number five. And I am ready to begin my latest piece here, at least as far as the painting part is concerned. Already got the design phase and the wood burning portion done. Now we start to breathe some life into it with some color. Oh, I tell you, I love what I do, but sometimes it's a bit exhausting. I do the full-time job, sometimes some overtime. Actually, more often than not, overtime. And uh, trying to do this at the same time, you know. Oh, you got to love what you do, if you're ever going to stick with it. But... Uh, one of the things that definitely helps is when you do some really good work. Some really good work that you're very proud of and that you're, you can sit back and really enjoy the results. That last work really did a lot to energize me. That was, uh, the more I got done on that one, the more excited and happier I got. So did a lot to re-energize me and I needed that pretty bad. I was on a hiatus there for a couple of months. I just didn't hardly do anything artistically. And that happens every once in a while. Not too often with me, but you know, it seems like about once a year to once every two years I go on a little bit of a bend where I don't get back to it for a little while. And talk to other artists, it's fairly similar. I think the main thing is this, I just get frustrated. And, uh, you know, everybody wants the art to be seen and noticed and recognized and appreciated. You know, just like, you know, the musician does want to just play in some room by themselves you know, their instrument, or if they're a singer, then sing a room by themselves, they want an audience. You know, it's the same thing for an artist. You know, you want someone else to see it, and to appreciate it, and to love it as much as you do, and... I don't know if that's a vanity thing or not, but... Vanity or not, you know, it's something that's... You just kind of can't help. Hmm... I don't know if I'm going to go to the same direction with this one. Uh, let's, let's switch this up a little bit. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Hmm. Get some paints here. So I don't want to deviate too far from the real thing. I want to make it my own, but some semblance of what it is and what it was. I know what I do. I'll put it over here. Mix it with that. Sorry about that. Kind of thinking aloud. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard. When you... I think commissions do that to you sometimes, too. I mean... Commissions can be great, and they certainly help, you know, pay for things. If nothing else, more supplies and things of that nature, but, um, I don't know. It can also stifle your creativity when you're constantly doing what somebody else wants and not doing what you want as far as, or what you feel like you ought to be doing artistically. You know, that can be kind of hard to deal with. Especially when, I mean, <laughs> I can get all excited about doing all these commissions. Like, oh, cool, all this money's coming in. But then it's like, you know, you get this great idea or two and no time to work on it. It's hard, you know. But, 
Vata. But, uh, yeah, this has been helping quite a bit. And, uh, oop, a little hair. But, um, I really can't wait until I take this collection of new pieces along with some of my, um, uh, older works, some that are really high quality older works, and go to that gallery. I'm very excited to see what kind of, you know, response I'll get. I really hope it'll go well. I need to be in somewhere. I need to be doing something, getting something going on here. I just, I don't know. I want to know when I pass that something is left behind. Some piece of myself. It sounds kind of morbid, I guess. But uh, I can't help but think it, you know? I, th I think that's something, I think any artist is really honest with themselves wants the same thing. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a fine artist or a comic book artist, you want something, some, it's a legacy, right? It's what you leave behind. You don't want to be forgotten. You don't want your, your body of work to be forgotten. I want to know it's going to have that kind of lasting power. Let's see. Let's get some more white here. Where's that at? Right there. Not that I'm going anywhere anytime soon. At least I hope not. I just had a blood draw the other day. So I guess we'll find out soon enough. How well or awful it went. So, but uh, hopefully, well, or at least you know, doable enough where you know I can turn it around. Enough of that, though. I don't want to slump back in any kind of like moodiness. I'm really happy the way things have been going for me lately so as always um, if you have any questions or comments um, please feel free to leave so below um, if you're a fellow artist and if you want um, get in touch with me and uh, if you got a channel of your own let me know you know maybe we can compare notes I am not a classically trained artist. If you are and you're watching me, you can probably tell. Everything about me is self-taught. The only art classes I had were in high school, middle school, you know, grade school stuff. So, taught myself everything beyond that point. So, okay. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, hope you like what you're seeing. Uh, stay in touch. Uh, if you're interested sometime of uh, watching this on a live basis, again, please comment below and let me know because I'm curious on trying that. So have a wonderful day and blessings.